morning you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry the sun is on my face but I can't really help it. It's a beautiful sunrise today. And we are on our way to Briley's doctor's appointment right now. Um, I'm a little behind. It was a rough morning. I actually slept so well, like so well. I was comfortable, I slept, like I went back to bed if I woke up to go to the bathroom, like sorry TMI but <laughs> It was amazing, so of course, I couldn't wake up early to save my life, ugh. Anyways, like I said, we are on our way to the doctor's right now, running a little behind. Got my coffee, got my water, trying to avoid going to Starbucks, but all I can think about is their cheddar biscuit sandwich. It is a brisk 32 degrees out this morning, and a nice hot sandwich just sounds so delicious. <laughs> but I thought I'd bring you guys along with me for a little day in the life. I haven't done one of these for a whole week. I don't believe. I don't know. Now I'm not sure. <laughs> we just have to run to her doctor's point this morning and then I have to pick up something from the store on the way home. It's just swing by on the way home. And then I think we're gonna be home most of the day. I've got some crafts planned for us for later today so I'm excited for that. I've got a video to edit. That won't be on here but. <laughs> Um, hope you guys enjoy this little day in the life video. Not sure if you guys can see this, but this is my traffic jam on a on a Thursday morning. <laughs> all right, you guys, we are all done with the doctor's visit. Uh, Bradley's doing great. She's healthy. She's in the 73rd percentile for height, so she's a tall little girl. Uh, and her weight is finally starting to be in the 43rd percentile. As a baby, she was always in like the fifth percentile. She's a baby girl, even though she ate a ton. <laughs> so we are on our way home now. I am so hungry. I kind of want to stop somewhere and get something to eat, but I also don't. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see what I end up doing. I might stop at McDonald's or something just to get something small and easy. And a hash brown sounds pretty good right now. So. We're on our way home now, and then I've just got some things to do around the house. I'm gonna see if she'll eat a little bit more because she didn't really have like a full normal breakfast because she was rushed out the door and we were driving the full time, but anyways, just thought I'd update you guys on her appointment. All right, so we are back now. Briley's actually down for her nap right now. Um, I ended up making her a cute little Halloween themed lunch, which I will insert a video when I'm done talking here. I didn't film her eating it or enjoying it because she's just was in kind of a mood. She had a flu shot today and just going to the doctors, waking up a little early, so she was tired. Just needed some one-on-one -on -one mama time. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I've changed. <laughs> so I have the weirdest like pregnancy symptoms. I'm cold, so I want to snuggle and be warm. However, I'm like irritated by certain materials on my skin for too long. Don't jump up on the counter, crazy boy. He wants my beans and peanut butter and jelly that I have on the counter. I'm eating lunch. Now that Briley's in bed, I can eat. <laughs> like, I don't know, my sweater that I was wearing earlier was just bugging me, so we're, we're in a different outfit now, which, whatever. <laughs> I don't know if any of you noticed or even cared, but. Um, so now that Briley's down for her nap, I have a fun little Halloween treat that I want to make her today. I already made her a spider peanut butter and jelly sandwich Halloween themed, <laughs> um, which you will see once I'm done talking, <laughs> if I ever stop. But now I want to make her a little snack for when she wakes up. It's super simple, pretty easy. First I'm going to show you guys the sandwich I made and then we'll get to the next snack. Alright, so what you are going to need for this fun little treat is two pieces of bread, a round, well, per kid, so if you have more than one kid, you're gonna want more than just two pieces. Um, a round cookie cutter, some pretzel sticks. I only had the ultra thin ones, which work just fine. Um, peanut butter, jelly of your choice, and some fun little googly eyes. So you just make the peanut butter and jelly like you would make a normal peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So, peanut butter jelly made, and then you take your cookie cutter, just kind of go into the middle. Mind you, this is just for fun, so of course you have the rest of the sandwich, which you can cut into little pieces for the kid to eat, but this is just to make a little fun sandwich. And then 
you literally just stick in I think you guys can see where this is going. <laughs> and then you just grab your peanut butter and a googly eye. Because you need something sticky. A fun little sandwich for the kiddos and you can do any kind of a sandwich Bradley's just on a peanut butter and jelly right now we don't really do meat sandwiches for her we eat meat I just feel like she's too young to comprehend that <laughs> so um, you could do um, grilled cheese even if you wanted different breads different colors um, but yeah there's a fun little Halloween lunch idea Okay, so as you saw, that was a super simple lunch idea. Now we're gonna get onto our snack for when she wakes up. It does have to harden a little bit, but it shouldn't take too long, so let's And then for this recipe, you're going to need a flat cookie sheet, some candy melts, some pretzel thins. Again, I have the super, super thin ones. I'm not sure why I grabbed them, that just by accident, but they're gonna work. Some more googly eyes and some wax paper. Literally, all you need. Okay, so what you do is you grab your pan first, and then you cover it with some wax paper. And then I'm just gonna set it aside. Now if you've dealt with chocolate melts before, then you know what you're doing here, but if you have not, um, you can actually read the instructions on the back, and it'll explain to you the proper way to melt them because you can overheat them and it'll dry them out. And then obviously if it's underheated, then it's chunky and not easy to work with. So read the instructions on the back, it helps you out. Also, if you add a little Crisco into it, sometimes that helps as well. I always like to test them to make sure they taste delicious and they do. And then now that that's melted, you just want to get your pretzel sticks. You know what? I'm not even going to do the pan this time. It's popping out too much and it's going to ruin it. So we're going to we're going to nix the pan. I think it'll dry in time before she wakes up. It's cool in this house. And you're just going to make a fun little star shape. And one final stir. Yeah, okay, so what you wanna do, I'm gonna put a, do a dollop in each little center of each of them to kind of hold them together. Obviously I need a little bit more. There we go. Oh, too much. Be patient. So I did a little much, <laughs> okay? And then you just take it to where it's like nice and gooey like this. You kind of want a little bit on it. And you go. Okay, well we're having some technical difficulties here. Okay, well that one turned out cruddy. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting it in a bag because my chocolate is a little harder, so it's clumping a little too much. So I'm just going to create like a little piping bag. Make sure you your chocolate isn't too hot before doing this. All right, here we go. Turned out cute. 
cute. Much cuter than the first one. And that's even cuter. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna remake this one so that we have one more pretty one. I'll try and get close for this one for you guys. I can't promise my videoing skills are gonna be that great though. So you can see the difference from piping it on to trying to spoon it on. Moral of the story is don't get discouraged if it doesn't start out the way you want. Breathe <laughs> and try to think of a different way to do it. So piping it on, much cleaner, much nicer. I'm gonna let those harden and then we will be back to make them even cuter. Okay, and then you can do the pretzels. Honestly, you can do them with any color. So I just went ahead and melted some brown chocolate because we have it just to show you guys what it would look like. What you can now do is draw a little spider on here. So tons of ideas. As you can see, I butchered the little spiders in the middle, but it's a kid's treat, so who really cares? I think I care more than she's ever gonna care, and I shouldn't. So Ellie actually just woke up as I was finishing those up, so those are hardening hopefully in time. I might put the tray in the fridge really quick because I know it'll harden for her. I'm gonna go grab her now and then clean this mess up and get ready for dinner because it's already four o'clock. What are you doing? <laughs> How was your nap? It was good? Yeah. Aw, you love your baby? Give her kisses? Ready to get out? Okay. Sit at your table. What do you like it? What do you think? You like it? Is it cool? Aww, that makes mama happy. Okay, I gotta get the kitchen picked up and look up how long dinner is gonna take. We are doing mummy dogs tonight for dinner. Not healthy whatsoever. Super fun, Halloween themed. Kinda what we're sticking with all our meals today. Minus breakfast, because we had a doctor's appointment. <laughs> that was just a quick out of the house moment. <laughs> So we're just sitting here at her table. She's enjoying her little treat that I made her. I brought her some water, because sweet and salty makes you thirsty. She's watching her show right now, and I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna see how long dinner takes. I should probably keep myself in the frame. I'm gonna see how long dinner takes and just kinda hang out with my little Biles for, for right now. And uh, 
protect her from Mr. Tucker over here. He keeps trying to get her food, so. We're just gonna have a little bit of a moment, relax time before I have to start dinner. themed uh, recipe, meal, whatever that we are going to do are mommy hot dogs. I'm sure you guys have heard of them, seen them on Pinterest, seen them around town. <laughs> um, but they are just crescent roll wrapped hot dogs. What happened? Did you hit your hand? You okay? I think she's okay, you guys. <laughs> you gonna help me? So they are just crescent roll wrapped mummy hot dogs and they're pretty easy to make. Ramsey should be home any minute so I gotta get going on them. So this is how I make mine. Okay, so I kinda failed a little bit. I forgot to take the crescent rolls out of the freezer. Not sure if I already mentioned that. So we're still a little like frozen in some areas but I just roll them out. Oh, yep. I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I just roll them together so it's gonna be like one big solid chunk and then I'll cut them into strips to wrap around the hot dogs. And then you just cut them into quarter inch thick strips like so. Do a close-up shot at the end. All right, so then you just grab your hot dog and a piece, and you wrap it around like so. And you can do one or two pieces. I think on this one, I'm gonna do two. Now, because Briley will be eating these as well, I saw a fun little trick where you can do mini mummies. Final verdict, they came out so cute. You guys, dinner was a hit. I have never got Briley to eat a hot dog. I don't know why the girl just is not a big fan. Not complaining, but I didn't think she would eat it, but she actually ate most of it and liked it and enjoyed it. And Dinner's a struggle with her. I think I've mentioned that before. 
So you never know what you're gonna get. You plan what you think is the perfect meal and she's so disgusted by it. So Tucker's just wanting all the treats that we have over here. <laughs> so we're just cleaning up dinner really quick in the kitchen. It's kind of a mess. So I'm gonna clean it all up and then I think I might get started on dessert. I don't know, Ramsey doesn't know that we have it coming yet. I don't know if he even wants it. He's, he loves his sweets, don't get me wrong, but he only likes so many rich foods in one night. <laughs> so I'm gonna get dinner all picked up. up now for dessert there's so many different options that you can do for a Halloween themed dessert however I wanted to stick to an original a delicious one so I am making some Oreo dirt cup them together. out on the side but I feel like they're just falling upside down and I struggled with this one is it this one yeah see you can't even tell which one I originally put eyes in oh yeah see I tried to do like one right here so it looks like it's looking out at you and like yeah that came out cute but I don't even know how that happened so we just keep repeating this thing. the eyes end up just getting buried in there but I think these came out so cute Here's my final result I think these came out so cute I love them as you can see they were pretty simple pretty easy fun any little kid that sees this is gonna just love it there you have it you guys here are four fun spooky festive Halloween treats for some toddlers Bradley loved them all I hope you guys enjoy this little day in the life slash Halloween themed meal day. <laughs> if you did, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss many more Momtober vlogs for the rest of the month and all the videos in the future. <laughs> oh, also everything I made today I'll have linked below with the recipe that I like went off of um, just so you guys can follow something along as well. Alright, <laughs> now for reals. <laughs> Bye guys.